How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark from last night, which was September 28th, 2021. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Thunder Rosa versus Nikita Knight. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Thunder Rosa went over with the Peruvian Calavera choke. That was match one, by the way. Match, match two, it was Private Party, which are Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy versus Carly Bravo and JDX. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Private Party went over because Isaiah Cassidy pinned... Carly Bravo with the gin and juice from Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. That was match two, by the way. Match match three, it was Kiara Hogan versus Layla Gray. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Kiara Hogan went over with a roundhouse kick. That was match three, match three by the way. Match four, it was... 10 versus Brandon Gore. That was a great match, but the ending to it, 10 went over with the full Nelson. That was match four, by the way. Match five, it was Cesar Bononi and Adrian Jowd versus Ryzen and Jake St. Patrick. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Cesar Bononi and Adrian Jowd went over because Cesar Bononi pinned Ryzen with the Argentine Slam. That was, that was match five, by the way. Match six, it was Lance Archer versus Arjun Singh. That was a quick match, but the ending to it, Lance Archer went over with the blackout. Now, before the match... Lance Archer dr dragged Arjun Singh out to the ring and was beating the shit out of him. And then Arjun Singh got a little bit of offense in. And then Lance Archer got offense in and beat the shit out of Arjun Singh some more before the match started and everything. Which that was cool. Match seven. That was match six, by the way. Match seven. It was Ricky Starks versus. Darius Lockhart, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Ricky Starks went over with the spear. Match eight, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno and Stu Grayson versus Adrian Alanis and Liam Gray. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because Evil Uno pinned Liam Gray with the pile driver Pele kick combination from Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. That was match eight, by the way. Match nine, it was Julia Hart versus Rekka Tahaka. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Julia Hart went over the split bulldog. That was match, ni match nine, by the way. Match match 10, it was Bear Country, which are Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder versus Jameson Ryan and Brick Aldridge. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Bear Country went over because Bear Bronson pinned Jameson Ryan with the cannonball. And that was match 10, by the way. And match 11, which was the main event, it was Matt Seidel and Dante Martin versus The Factory, which are QT Marshall and Aaron Solo. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Matt Seidel and Dante Martin went over because Dante Martin pinned Aaron Solo with a springboard moonsault. Now, besides the matches, Alex Marvez 
interviewed Santana Garrett, and Alex Marvez was asking Santana Garrett how excited was she to be here in AEW and everything, and Santana Garrett was saying, I thought this place looked awful familiar, but I am very excited to be in All Elite Wrestling, and I'm going to make my father proud, and I'm going to kick some ass and everything, and then, and then Diamante appeared and and was was telling Santana Garrett, Santana Garrett, no one cares because because once you step in all all elite wrestling and you're going up against me, I'm going to I'm going to destroy you. So how about next week me and you have a match on AEW Dark. And Santa well Santana Garrett accepted the the match and then Diamante shoved, yeah, yeah, Diamante shoved Santana Garrett, and then Santana Garrett started fighting back, and so Diamante and Santana Garrett were, were brawling and beating, beating the shit out of each other, and and the and the referees had to break it up and everything. Jet was cool. Now, besides all that, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. The referees for the event were Mike Posey, Paul Turner, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between Thunder Rosa versus Nikita Knight. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Private Party versus Carly Bravo and JDX. That was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Mike Posey refereed the match between Kiara Hogan versus Layla Gray. Paul Turner refereed the match between Tin versus Brandon Gore. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Cesar Bononi and Adrian Jowd versus Ryzen and Jake St. Patrick. That was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Wait, wait. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Cesar Bononi and Adrian Jowd versus Ryzen and Jake St. Patrick. That was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Mike Posey refereed the match between Lance Archer versus Arjun Singh. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Ricky Starks versus Darius Lockhart. It's Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Mike Posey refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Adrian Alanis and Liam Gray. Mike Posey, by the way. Paul, Paul Turner refereed the match between Julia Hart versus Rekka Tahaka. Paul Turner refereed the match between Bear Country versus Brick Aldridge and Jameson Ryan. That was Paul Turner, by the way. And Mike Posey refereed the match between Matt Seidel and Dante Martin versus The Factory. So, yeah. So all the ref and all the referees done awesome as usual. Now, the match card for tonight's episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite that's been announced so far, it's going to be Miro versus Sammy Guevara for the AEW TNT title. The Nightmare Family, which are Cody Rhodes and Lee Johnson versus Matt Seidel and Dante Martin. Adam Cole versus Jungle Boy, and The Bunny and Penelope Ford versus Anna Jay and Ty Conti. Those are the matches that have been announced so far. And the match card for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite looks like it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to see it. But anyway... I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark from last night, which was September 28th, 2021. 
Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.